He looked on into the darkness. The blaze was growing. The Globe Theater, a place where a new era of acting had begun, had been reduced to smoldering remains. Let's rewind. Before the Globe Theater, there was just the theater. The theater was, well, a theater. It was constructed just outside of London in 1576 by James Burbage. At the time, James Burbage had a teenage son by the name of Richard. Richard Burbage would later become one of the most respected actors in Shakespeare's time. The theater was very successful, bringing actors from all over England, including the Lord Chamberlain's Men, where Shakespeare himself was an actor and playwright. However, as fate would have it, the theater was torn down over a dispute with the landlord. But the theater lived on, as its timbers were brought to a new location and were used to build a new theater, the Globe Theater. The Globe Theater was constructed in 1599 by the Lord Chamberlain's men as their playing theater. The Globe was a huge success, attracting a large audience, everyone wanting to catch a glimpse of the Lord Chamberlain's men. In the middle of the theater was an area called the Pit. For a penny, people called groundlings would stand on the dirt and watch the show. Groundlings were typically poor peasants. Behind the pit were three levels of seating you could purchase if you had more money. June 29th, 1613. During a performance of Henry VIII, a theatrical cannon fire lit the thatched roof of the globe on fire, and it burned down. The next year, it was rebuilt. But this second globe theater was short-lived, as it was closed down 30 years later by Puritans. Let's fast forward. In 1997, a modern reconstruction of the theater, named Shakespeare's Globe, opened with a production of Henry V. To this day, you can visit Shakespeare's Globe, which is located about 750 feet from where the original building stood in London. 